Hello my lovely friends and welcome back to another video. So today we are going to be going antique shopping and um, I'm also going to try to stop at Goodwill and maybe one other kind of consignment thrift shop in the area just to see what I can find. Um, this antique shop has been here for a while, I mean since we've lived here. And I stopped in briefly, but I didn't get much of a chance. So I'm excited to go there to see what, to check that out, to see how it is. Uh, it's huge. It's absolutely huge. And it's packed full of a bunch of stuff. So I can't wait to show you little clips of it. I don't know if I'll talk much during the clips. Maybe if I saw something I, you know, particularly like or something, I will definitely show you but, and maybe tell you about it a little bit, but otherwise I'll just roll the clip so you can get an idea of what there is. I will also try to film in Goodwill. Our Goodwill is, it changed locations, so it's to, in a brand new building. I have been stopping in there. I try to stop in once a week or maybe once every two weeks, and I have had absolutely no luck. It is beautiful in there. It's brand new, and any clothes that you need, I mean, they have every kind of clothes. The home decor is always extremely sparse for some reason, and I'm not sure why, but we'll see how that goes. And then there's just one other kind of thrift shop that I want to stop in. I'll see if I can grab clips there. I'm not sure if I can because it's a real tiny little place and I don't know, it might be a little hard to grab some uh, clips in there. But then I will be back to share with you anything that I decided to pick up. So one of my favorite things is this old pie safe. I absolutely love this. I don't have anywhere to put it and honestly it just doesn't really go with the style of my home. But if I had an old farmhouse I would have bought this in a second. I thought it was absolutely beautiful. I loved these blue and white dishes. I may actually, when I go back, pick a couple of these up. I think they would look beautiful in my summer dining room video where I can add those to my plate racks on the wall.
old scales are another great find at an antique store. The prices range so much, but I really liked this old white one. I absolutely loved this old scoop, but when I saw that it was $48.50, I didn't love it that much. They had a huge selection of these old vintage jugs. I loved all of them and the prices ranged all the way up to $130.
So we stopped by the farmer's market. It was our first farmer's market of the season. I really didn't get any clips of the actual farmer's market, but it was at this beautiful park with this pond and Kova was so freaked out by the huge fish and the turtles. It was so cute. Okay, I am back and I had a pretty successful shopping trip. Um, okay, so this antique store, when I went in, like I said, I knew it was big. It is absolutely enormous. It is 7,000 square feet and they have, I think that the woman told me over 30 different vendors have stuff there. So. It is huge. I did not get through all of it. If you enjoy this type of video, let me know. I definitely want to go back, so I will film more clips and share anything else that I get. Um, I did find some really, really nice things. Um, I would say my style is more new items, but I do love mixing old with new. I think that that's just a classic style. So I like um, certain things that I look for at antique stores like um, old jugs and crocs and that type of thing. I always love milk glass, um, baskets, just different stuff like that that you can very easily incorporate old in with new. That's what I like to look for. So, so I do have, I think, about five things that I picked up at the antique store, so I definitely want to show you that. If you did not see the clips of, the, of Goodwill, it was awful. There was nothing, it was so super sparse. I would love to shop more at thrift stores and Goodwill. I don't know if I'm doing it wrong. I stop by every week. I hardly ever find anything that I love. And it's just, it was just so sparse. So I did not get anything at Goodwill. And then the other consignment shop, I just stopped in real quick or a thrift store stopped in really quick and they didn't really have much of any home decor. It was really more clothes with a few sparse pieces of home decor. So I did not get anything there, but I did get five different things at the antique store. So I am excited to share those with you. So like I said, they have about 30 di different vendors. So things are priced all over the board. I mean, some, are like that table and chairs. It was beautiful, but it was $950. And yet you'll find something else that like a similar chairs and table and it was a few hundred dollars. So, you know, the vendors can price their own way. You can negotiate. So I was able to negotiate some of these prices down, but some of them are extremely expensive. And then other things I didn't think were bad at all. So I am, oh, I almost dropped it. I am always looking for old jugs. I feel like these are such a, kind of like a pottery barn old jug style. So I absolutely loved this one. I love the blue stripes. I think this was originally $30, which wasn't bad compared to some others that I found. I mean, there was some that were 80, 90, over $100 for the same size. Um, so I didn't think 30 was bad. However, I was able to even negotiate it down, I think to like 21 or something dollars. So I did not think that was bad. I love the size of it. I love like the neutral colors. So I did pick up this one and then I did also pick up this one and this one is really beautiful. This one was only 15. Um, super heavy. I mean, this one is extremely heavy. Like I said, very neutral. Um, I try to, when I'm there, if I'm curious about the price, I try to find similar online and that kind of gives me a little bit of like a negotiating tactic. So, 
Um, this one was 15. They didn't negotiate. They weren't willing to negotiate with the price, which was fine. So I did get this one and this one and they look really nice together and one is just a little bit taller than the other so sitting on like an entryway table maybe with a branch of some sort sticking out of one I just love that look so I grabbed these two jugs I was looking for some more milk glass and um, hobnail you know items to display in my hutch in my dining room so i did just get this really cute, cute little hobnail creamer really adorable i think this was just a few dollars they had one that was a little bit bigger and i didn't get it and i should have gotten it so that might be one thing that i do end up going get back to get it was just a little bit different it was more like like a little pitcher but it was a creamer so it was like, taller and skinnier but um, so I'm always looking for milk glass and hobnail, hobnail milk glass to display in my hutch. So the last two things I got, I did get this really pretty and I think I showed it in one of the clips. I, first of all, I'm always looking for wicker and texture. I love this lighter wicker. So when I saw this, I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. What was that? So when I opened it, it's noisy. When I opened it. It is, it is a backgammon game. So I'm not sure if all of the pieces are here. I haven't played backgammon in years. I don't even know if I remember how to play it. But um, I think this would be really, really pretty to just, <laughs> to put like on my coffee table, almost like a tray and make a little arrangement on it. And then it can also be played. So. I think this was originally $15. I got them to take 12 for it and it just makes a really pretty decor piece, but yet you can also play it. So I thought that was really nice. And then the last thing that I got was, um, I don't really do theme themes for summer. However, I have been gravitating towards a lot of pineapple type of decor for my kitchen for summer. And I found this old picture there <clears throat> It's just one of those old metal tiles. I mean, you can see how rusty it is on the outside and it has some barn wood type of frame and somebody just hand painted on a pineapple. I think this was like $8 or something. So not bad and I think it just looks really pretty. I like the kind of old looking frame and the old metal and bringing in the pineapple. I think it will look really pretty on some of the open shelving that I have in my kitchen. So that was everything that I got. We did also um, stop at the farmer's market. So I will put in that little haul here. I think I did add those clips in there also. It was really cute. I actually didn't get a lot of the farmer's market, but we had gone on a gorgeous day. It was the first farmer's market of the season. So we brought Kova and there's like a big pond there with huge fish in it and turtles and stuff. So it was really cute. Kova was scared to death of the fish because they would come right up and they're like flopping around and people, she, she was so scared. It was so cute. So I have a couple clips of that and I will slip in here the little haul of what I picked up at the farmer's market. No fruits and vegetables, but that's fine. Actually, there's just no fruits and vegetables out yet. This is our first farmer's market. It's finally over 40 at night, so there's not really much local fruits and vegetables yet, but that will be coming. We try to do this weekly. It's good socialization for Kova. We're able to pick up some local items and it's like a win for everyone. So I'm gonna slip that in here now, the haul that we got from the farmer's market. Okay, so I just have a quick little farmer's market haul. Um, we got everything but fruits and vegetables, but honestly, there is just none out where I live right now. So it's just a lot of cute little crafts and, you know, little things like that, baked goods and stuff. So that's what we got today. We always, always get the pure New York maple syrup from the Amish. It is to die for. So we did get this. And then we also got kettle corn. Kettle corn is my downfall and it was like warm and they have fresh squeezed lemonade and everything. I didn't get it, but I just got some kettle corn. Already have broken into that bag. I can tell you that right now. 
Um, I, we got some chocolate chip cookies. Um, I needed some more jam. So there was a cute little stand here and they had a triple berry jam, red raspberry jam. Actually, they had a di ton of different kinds, but um, she said these two are actually the two top flavors that sell the most. So I did get each one of those. Um, also from the Amish, they have literally, we've already broken into this too, literally the most amazing frosted raisin bran. This is like a whole layer of delicious frosting. So good. So we got that. And then we did get two blueberry scones, one for each of my daughters and one of my daughters already ate hers. So I think that was basically everything that we grabbed for, oh, yeah, I think that was it. That was everything that we pretty much grabbed from the farmer's market today. Okay, friends, so that was my little haul from the farmer's market. I hope that you enjoyed this kind of antique thrift store shop with me and haul. If you like these type of videos, I would love for you to let me know because I, I will be stopping probably this week to go through the other probably 3,000 square feet I didn't get to at this antique store. So I would love to take you along if that's a video that would interest you and share with you any type of antique or thrift items I get. I would love to know if you're interested in that and I will certainly share. Like I said, I don't I don't usually have good luck finding much, but at, at like Goodwill and Salvation Army, they're just so picked over, but I do occasionally find some good things, so I would love to share them with you if that is something you want to see. So I hope you all have a beautiful day, and I appreciate you and you stopping by and watching my video. I would love it if you are new, if you will subscribe, and we're working hard on this patio video. This is has been a work in progress. This has taken a while because, like I said, the weather is finally just starting to cooperate. So check out the tour video of the patio before. I'll have it linked down below so you can see what a mess it was and then you'll be able to see the reveal in my video coming up soon. Follow me over on Instagram at Decorate with Dana and I will see you all in my next video. I hope you have a great day.